I'm Ava. And I'm Ari. And this is Potato the Chicken. Welcome to Clearwater Kids Challenge. Clearwater Farm is where Potato lives. And this is a place where kids can explore and learn from nature. Today we're asking, what's a bee got to do with your favorite jeans? Let's find out what all the buzz is about. Bees make honey for us, so we can eat it and put it on bread. Bees, they help us, like, eat. They give us honey, they help us eat food. They kind of fertilize the trees, so air. Honey is bee spit. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> you see, bees make honey from something called pollen, which is a sticky powder found in flowers. As the bees collect the pollen, it sticks to their legs and bodies and wipes off on the next flower they visit. It sounds messy, but it's really important because the plants need each other's pollen to make more baby plants. And we grow these plants to make lots of things, like fabrics that are in our clothes, including our jeans. That's right, Potato. That is what a bee has to do with your favorite jeans. So, we can think of nature like this tower of blocks we just built. It's a balancing act where we all depend on each other. Unfortunately, not all humans are doing enough to protect the bees that help the ecosystem stay healthy. Some people are using harmful chemicals in their garden or on their crops. These chemicals are bad for us, but they kill bees. And if we lose all the bees, we need to do better for the bees. One way the farm is bee friendly is by growing plants that attract bees among the vegetable crops. The more we can help plants grow, the better for the bees and everyone. Bees are also endangered species. We have to save them. Help the bees! I'm Spencer Lippa. I'm the youngest member of the Green Party and I'm 12 years old. Let's talk about bees. Another thing we do to help out the bees is we won't pluck our dandelions. Some people think they're a weed and lots of people pluck them, but we don't because dandelions are actually one of bees' favorite food. Challenge time! What can you do at home? You don't have to live on a farm to help the bees. There's lots of things you can do where you live. Like planting various types of flowers and give the bees something to drink in a little bee bath with a few stones in it, like this. Or give a worker bee a place to rest by upcycling old scrap paper and rolling it up and putting it in a mug or tin. Hang this outside and they'll have a cozy place to lay their wings at night after a full day of pollinating. Remember to be mindful for those around you who may have bee allergies. And unless bees are scared, they usually won't sting. So if you let them be, you'll be just fine. For riddles, games, and lots more to explore, visit clearwaterkids.org. And challenge yourself to build a healthier world. 